Hello friends! I hope you are well today. I am excited this will be a pretty short video because my prep work is already done. But I want to kind of walk us through it. I'm working today from this book called Skinny Taste, Fast and Slow. So this is Gina Hamolka, maybe is how you say her name. She has a blog as well, skinnytaste.com if you're interested. Uh, whereas a lot of the recipes that I do here on this particular vlog are whole plant, vegetarian, vegan. This one is not, so our family was not traditionally those things. Even just a few months ago, we decided to incorporate more of those meals. So for the last couple years, we've been doing two meatless meals a week. Over the summer, which was, now it's like November, uh, we went and did like five meatless meals a week, and now we're somewhere around similar, right? Like on Thursdays right now, I'm, I'm making a meat meal. And so today's meal, let me get it, is what she calls the slow cooker stuffed pepper soup. And you can see it's a short recipe. There's three columns, but they're not very long. And she does it in a crock pot. Today I'm not doing it in a crock pot. So I just want to kind of walk us through Again, my hope in doing a vlog like this is to talk about how does a busy person cook these nutritious meals that the whole family or themselves can enjoy? How do you get it done? So just to kind of walk you through it, today as I packed people's lunches, or as I was heating yesterday's dinner and then putting them into thermoses and putting together the fruits and the vegetables and throwing those in, I had 10 minutes. So I said, I'm gonna use those 10 minutes for all they're worth. And I sauteed, I pulled out two pots, put them on the stove, so now we're just down to one, but two pots allowed it to go quickly. And I sauteed my hamburger, so roughly a pound and a half in each one. I took a large red onion, cut it in half, each pot got a half of that. Yesterday, I had uh, chopped up like six, five, six bulbs of garlic. So I went and put the recipe calls for three cloves. I probably put like a tablespoon and a half in each one. And then I sauteed that up. While that was doing its thing, I cut up my peppers. A red pepper for each pot and a green pepper for each pot. I added a teaspoon of salt to each one. I sprinkled a little pepper. Stirred around, stirred around, stirred around. And then it was almost ready to drain. So while I was waiting for it to drain, I popped the top of my tomato sauce and my diced tomatoes. I drained each one in the sink, combined into this one pot, which I shouldn't touch because it's hot. Um, so it, for one recipe, right, it would be two 14 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. I'm always doing a double batch. So it was four cans of diced tomatoes. A can of tomato sauce would be one batch. So I did a full, two full cans. Rinse those cans with water. That was going to become the, the stock, right? So to get all that Took some of my vegetable stock, that paste that I show in some videos, stuck that in there, stirred everything around, a teaspoon and a half of margarine, and that was 10 minutes, right? <laughs> so then this is just simmering. I, I am done with this for the day, and it's 9.20 in the morning. So I can kind of give you a sense, let me see. Not sure how much a light really helps, but there it is. There's lots of veggie in there. Now, since we've been doing our whole plant, plant-based diet, what I will say, this was one of my favorite recipes last year. Now that I get so much texture and so much beauty in my food, this is like not very much texture, but it's a quick meal, it comes together fast, when I'm doing homework with the kids later this afternoon, I'm gonna turn my rice cooker on because that's what makes it a stuffed pepper soup. And this is a genius recipe because if you have ever made stuffed peppers, you know, right, you've gotta, you've gotta make that hamburger mixture, you gotta make that rice mixture, put the rice and the hamburger together with a tomato sauce, put them in these peppers and bake them for like an hour, maybe? It's like a long process, you have all these pots. So this is recreating the notion of that stuffed pepper, but in a bowl, which makes it a little faster. So the great thing about that is, tomorrow what will happen, I keep these separate on day one so that it feels more like a soup. 
usually because we're going to put it in thermoses for lunch the next day i'm going to heat them and put them together once you put that rice with the sauce and you let that rice soak it's going to absorb the juice and it's going to really be more like stuffed pepper filling than it is soup so you, if you have the ability to keep them separate when you do lunch do that but i'm sending kids to school and so it's just not going to happen so that is stuffed pepper soup you can see like I, I did my dishes quick when I got home while I was listening to a podcast. And that is the other part of like, how do you get stuff done? Honestly, like keep up with your kitchen, right? So I clean as I go, so everything's ready, right? You're gonna see the same pots coming out day after day. We weren't good at that when we first got married. We'd have like all the dishes that could possibly exist in the world out before we'd wash. It was horrible. So part of it is kind of keeping up with the cleaning as you go. Part of it is taking that 10 minutes that you had and getting it done. So you could do something like this the night before and you could just nuke it when you get home. That's a, that's a possibility too. If you are a single person, having these recipes would be totally possible. Um, or you could freeze some of it. This soup would freeze just fine and you can make rice whenever you want to make it. So. That is the meal for today, and I will look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.